Hi guys, Azuki Dojo here, and today we are back in No Man's Sky, oh yeah. And before we get started, a lot of people have been finding problems with multi-tools, uh, especially when they portal through, the multi-tool may not be in the cabinet and they can't get it to spawn. Um, particularly with station-based multi-tools, I find that the answer is to hop out of your ship, fly, uh, hop in your ship, fly to the space station, hop out, create an autosave, then shut your game down and then reboot. It seems to reset the multi-tools so that the right one appears in the cabinet. So if it happens for you, give that a whirl and uh, hopefully that works. And if it does, uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. So on to today's video. Um, so yeah, I find this in the cabinet. Trash, pure trash. And then I thought, well, let's just hop down to the nearest, there only has two planets, let's hop down to the planet and find out what's in the air cabinet. And, uh, there's only two planets, as you can see. Yeah, and this one is fissured, so no settlements on it. So I might hop down to this one and, uh, whoopee-doo. So, yeah, don't be put off sometimes by station cabinets. What my own, what... If it's, a, if it's a C class, who knows what the A class will be. So, without further ado, let's do this. So first of all, a couple of ship locations. And we should go to the red one first. So yeah, I like sometimes to have something more than a multi-tool in a video. As if you've watched my videos, you'll see quite often if a shuttle or ship or something that's just added in. So when you come to get the multi-tool, you can pick something else up. So this first one is a B-class fighter, but it's a tier 3. Uh, so it's, it's worth plenty of money. Not as good as a hauler, but not bad. Plus it's a very nice ship, so if you're in the market for picking up a ship that you want to upgrade, this one might be a nice one for you. Quite like the one I'm flying here. Okay, this is my S4821. I can't remember where I got that from, it was near the beginning of my game. So, here it is. Flying Sword. Haha. -ha. Mr. Sword, if you end up watching this video, maybe you should come and pick up the S class of this. There you are, the Flying Sword C13. That's sort of greeny grey colour with red accents. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see. So it's got the multiple jets at the back, whereas mine has just one. And it doesn't have the side panelling that mine has. Those side wings. But that is a nice ship. It's greeny looking now. Very green looking. So green and red. And if you want that ship, that's awesomeness. Let's have a quick look. So you can see there that the coordinates are plus... 1.04 and minus 10.79. If you're on PlayStation Normal, I'll be leaving the bacon uh, so you can come and pick that up. It is worth nearly 19 million units if you fix it up, but you'll get a good portion of that if you scrap it anyway. So there we go, ship number one. Nice. But the main event. So I have never found a crashed exotic apart from now. This one is a beauty. A beauty. seconds to pop in. Yeah, it's going to take us time, this one. Oh, there we go. 
So yeah, I just used the transmission towers to find ships. I got a couple of A-class shuttles, that B-class fighter, but then this popped up. Oh yeah. That is one awesome ship. Oh yeah. And it is a 20 plus 6, so that's the maximum slots you can get. Yeah, look at that. That's a gold one with silver. A bit like the one I have in my main save, except it doesn't have that. I don't have the tail at the back. It's a 159 hyperdrive range, but honestly, I I am not. I use my explorers for traveling and not so much the exotic, so I wouldn't be bothered too much. Let's go around the sunshine side. Yeah, that is really sweet. So I will definitely pick that up on this save. Really nice. That's your twenty plus six. So if you're not in the market for one of these ships, at least if you scrap it, you'll get augmentation slots and things for it. So that is particularly nice. Okay, so if you're on PlayStation 4 normal, you'll see the beacon. If not, I shall hop into the ship and get you the... ...lat and long for this particularly nice one. So there you have minus 8.90 and minus 43.59. Oh yeah. So there you have it. That's crashed exotic. Enjoy that one everyone. And now let's head to the base. Have the load. And then we go. So yeah, remember that multi tool, this multi tool is based on the space station spawn, so if it happens it doesn't appear. Fly to the space station, reload, you'll get that stinky C-class, but at least you'll know you're on the right, uh, you're going out on the right multi-tool. And here we have it. The Waveform Silencer Mark 17. Yeah, that's a sweet looking multi-tool. That red body, black crystal, Green lights. That is sweet. These multi tools are always very popular. Uh, the last one I put up on my channel was particularly nice, but it's been viewed over a thousand times. I think it's 1.2 thousand views, so that's amazing. Let's have a look in camera mode. And there you have on the bottom left hand side your portal glyphs to get to the planet. So if you want the multi-tool, the ship, 
or or ships um that's your place to get them so yeah that's a really nice looking multi-tool that i love the black crystal really nice so yeah this will always do as a second or third multi-tool the waveform silencer mark 17 Now, the only thing we need to do is get the settlement coordinates. So if you're on PS4, normal, you'll see the base. If you're in any other mode, you'll, at least you'll see the combo. Um, I've been on Xbox and left the combo on the minor settlement, and I left a beacon at the exotic ship. So that should be easy enough for Xbox players. Let's get this for PC players. So the settled coordinate, coordinates are minus 63.44 and minus 156.27. There you go. And job done. So there you are guys, one of the best finds I've ever done. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as ever, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!